I call this August 4th meeting of the Paducah Planning and Zoning Commission to order, and I would ask all of you to stand with us and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mr. Summers, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Benberry, Mr. Morrison, Ms. Schramke? Here. Mr. Shadle? Here. Mr. Wade? Here. Chair Grisillas? Here. Uh, Mr. Wade, I believe you have the um, uh, minutes motion. I move that the reading of the minutes for the June 16, 2014 be waived and that the minutes, minutes of said meeting, as prepared by the Secretary, be approved as written. Second. Second by Schramke. Good. One in. There you go. Is there any discussion? Any changes? Call the roll, please. Mr. Wade? Aye. Mr. Benberry? It's a minute's motion. Aye. Mr. Uh, Ms. Schramke? Aye. Mr. Shadle? Aye. Chair Cresselius? Aye. Ms. Schramke, I believe you have the first item of business. In the matter of the Higdon Development, Inc. property located at, 37, at 3470 Trailhead Drive within the city limits, I move that the preliminary subdivision plan for Higdon Development, Inc. be approved and that the matter be continued generally pending submission of a preliminary development plan and final plat incorporating all requirements made known to the applicant at the conclusion of the hearing. Second. Second by Scheidel. This is a, um, a continuation of the Greenway Village uh, development off County Park Road for Higdon Development. Um, this is uh, a proposed townhome development versus the existing apartment project that is ongoing and previously approved, uh, as you can see uh, on the northern half of this site. So the southern half, which is south of Trailhead Drive, is being proposed for condo development. Uh, and this preliminary plan just so shows a general layout of the right-of-way to be dedicated easement setbacks um, and then a preliminary layout of how the the condos would be situated on the property uh, and a, a, as it's shown we have a, a phase one and phase two line uh, in, in, in essence they're actually uh, we're, we're, term we're calling this phase 1a the first part that would be developed which would what is what we would submit on the final subdivision plat uh, in, the, in the coming in the coming months along with site plan and, and engineering drawings for stormwater water main extension sewer main extension and and all that stuff so if you have any specific questions I'll be glad to answer them I just have one question, and that is, are we approving the entire layout for the right-of-way of the entire south section, or just the portion that is in phase one? Well, as far as the preliminary goes, we're asked to kind of show how the circulation and how phase two will actually work. But on the final, when we submit it, it'll just be for the western half, which is phase 1A. And I don't think your plan shows phase 1A. My updated does. It's basically what you see is phase 1. Right. That will be the only section of, of the road to be dedicated at this time. Okay. Which would basically create two new parcels as shown, tract 1C1 and 1C2. And then once all those condos are constructed, there would be a condominium association developed and we'd have to go in then and and do another plat that that delineated all the interior square footages and that sort of thing for the condo association at what point does the condominium association be formed all construction is completed they will form it uh prior to the sale of the first condo um but the plat 
won't be done or can't be done until each unit is complete 100 percent so we have to go in and actually you know take measurements and, and certify the interior dimensions and then placed on a plat for for sale they come back to us mm -hmm. with the for the final dimensions of the each specific unit mm -hmm. probably have to be several submittals because they, they rarely build six or seven buildings before they sell one so it will probably have to just do them you know as they go right. I went out and drove around, and it is a very nice development. In fact, I was um, noticing that they are working on another apartment building at the end of the road, and so that, I knew correct. sooner or later yep. they'd be starting on the condos. Correct. Anyone have any questions? Anything you'd like to ask? Thank you. Hold the roll, please. Mr. Ramke? Aye. Mr. Shadle? Aye. Mr. Wade? Aye. Mr. Benberry? Aye. Chair Crisillas? Aye. Mr. Shadle, you have the next item of business. I move that this commission receive and file the application of the Urban Renewal Community Development Agency for the proposed resubdivision of property located at 426 and 430 North 16th Street. I further move that the requested approval be given in compliance with all other applicable provisions of the Paducah subdivision ordinance be waived. Second. Second by Ben Barry. Yeah, this is just a simple waiver uh, located at the corner of 16th and Harrison. Uh, there's two lots owned by the Urban Renewal, and we're just abolishing the interior lot line um, uh, that separate the two lots and forming one uh, larger lot. About all there is to that one. Yeah, we have an individual looking to build a single-family home on that lot for new right. development in Fountain Avenue. Right. Anybody have any questions, comments? How many how many vacant lots do you have there now? This vacant, this left. It's about twenty, I would think, but we're all the time tearing down houses and building new houses so it's always in flux what's the minimum width that you uh, try to stay with 50 but there is some 40s yeah. out there well like these two are 40s now um, and they can go to the board at work in that case in that case the heart can get a variance for some 40 foot lots but normally we try to stay at 50 or above Question. Call the roll, please. Mr. Shadel. Aye. Mr. Wade. Abstain. Abstain. The reason he has to abstain, he's a member of the uh, Urban Renewal mm -hmm. Agency. So because of that, we felt it might be best for him to abstain. Okay. Uh, Mr. Benberry. Aye. Ms. Schramke. Aye. Chair Crisillas. Aye. And Mr. Wade, you have the last item of this. I do. I move that this commission receive and file the application of Evergreen Services of Paducah LLC for the proposed resubdivision of property located at 433 Monroe Street. I further move that the requested approval be given in compliance with all other applicable provisions of the Paducah subdivision ordinance be waived. Second. Second by Shremke. I have a revised plat on this. Uh, the copy that you all got did not show a property line on the east side along the zone line, and this okay. this will actually show it. We can share. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> 
the change on the revised one is between lot 2A and lot 2C now. All of this property was the Roth Funeral Chapel property. It was all one piece. It came up to a public auction last month, uh, and the chapel sold separately from a track out on 4th Street, and then also a separate parking area uh, at the corner of Madison and 5th Street. So all of this, it was one piece, is now three tracks. It sold that way at auction. I think Josh, I think there's a church that is moving in mm -hmm. to the chapel. I'm not sure what name over there are. New Geneva. New Geneva. And then a business across the street on 4th Street has purchased Lot 2C and Lot 2B. They're going to be using the storage building as well as, well as the uh, parking lot. Discuss for us or help educate me on the building line uh, encroachment. Uh, is that from before there were building lines in that area, or so basically it's grandfathered in? There's no ramifications to that. I think Roth was built in 1901. I'm not sure. Somewhere in that neighborhood. I suspected that was the issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the lore on that is, is that this was the actual first funeral home built as a funeral home in the state of Kentucky. Hmm. But you're right, it does encroach across the, the, the front yard line, the 25, and then also along the side yard. I'm not sure if there were, if there were yard requirements back when this was built. Right, yeah. This is B3 over here. Interesting, they're going to have a church two doors down from the new brew pub. <laughs> right, it's, they're almost side by side. <laughs> Maybe they'll get along yeah. together. <coughs> yeah, the corner of 4th and Monroe is where the old bus station used to be, so that's that property. Is that going to be? Is there going to be any kind of problem with that, as far as an establishment that sells liquor being within a thousand feet of a church? I mean, I know we've run into that before with some other churches in town. I can, I'm guessing that the brew pub was there first. Uh, I, first. I checked with Tammy, who takes care of the ABC license right. and asked her that question and she said that the state law changed and that doesn't apply anymore. Okay. Okay. And my question too would be what kind of access is there to two C? Is it from um, is, is there access off of 4th Street? To yes, the yes. There's I just a... hadn't really looked closely. Yeah. I knew that uh, you know, the, the Gary Echo Camp had his. Mm -hmm. Now, there's an entrance in. It also runs across in front of the storage building. So they have a concrete entrance there, and that's where they'll... Actually, the people across the street are purchasing it, so that's where they're going to be actually using that storage building for more storage. Is that the... Pipe business? No. Mm -hmm. Eating I think so. Oh. Ingram. Okay. They purchased lot 2C as well as lot 2B just in case they needed it. But lot 2B there on the corner is just a concrete parking lot. But right. I think they may lease that to the church mm -hmm. in the future for their, for their need as far as parking on Sundays. Does anybody have any questions, any more comments? Mr. Wade? Aye. Mr. Benberry? Aye. Ms. Schramke? Aye. 
Mr. Shadle. Aye. Chair Cresce's. If there's not any more business to come before the commission, they are adjourned. <laughs>